Hello, everybody. It's me again. Uh, this is the last one uh, related to conversion, converting uh, our previous project. And this is Swift and uh, Web Services. This is going to be an exciting one, so <laughs> it's getting started. Um, I already copied the, uh, the project to this folder. I'm going to open it up. Let me quit. Swift and Simulator first. And let's open it up and see what we get. All right, do you want to convert it? Yes, we want to. And click on Next, Next. All right, this is related to that core data, so I'm gonna delete it, so don't worry about this one. Uh, this is where we are with the uh, table view. Now we can take a look at some of these conversions. Uh, this is we've seen before, so no big deal, converting uh, using the property instead of the function. We have more, here's that, the error, the NS error now, the, uh, the NS data. Uh, the completion handler, we'll look at it in more details when we look at the code. Uh, the print, instead of print line, again, completion handler. Here we're using try and catch. Uh, the print again, print again, print, print. Okay. Again, here's the completion handler. Okay. Uh, with the we need to unwrap the variables and again okay so that's okay so let's go ahead and click on save and few errors we're gonna still have to fix it did compile if you look at those errors some of them are so that one is related to the core data which is you shouldn't have it if you haven't included core data into your project so i i have included it previously, so that's why I should have deleted them, but yeah, I'll delete them from here. And then there is that self that we need to delete. Okay, so that's fine. The rest of it, <coughs> we need to unwrap those uh, unwrap data. Okay, so insert that. And then here, fix it, unwrap the error. And then what do we have else? Do we have more? Yeah, we have a few more again here. You can just do data here, data here, and then error again. And error here, okay. Let's see, command B, so that's okay. Uh, we can do this here, perform changes, yes. Do we have more error? Two more warnings, so that's that error. This one is that uh, unused variable, so I'm gonna delete it. Command B again, that's the easy part. Now let's take a look at the fun part. Now, if you try to run this, here it says, I'm gonna run it on the simulator. Here it says that everything is fine. When we run it, we don't get anything. And we get an error here, you see that? Well, Apple changed the security settings on your app, so now you have to add keys to your uh, info list, appeal uh, list, and to the uh, to uh, the target uh, sim, uh, target uh, settings. Okay, it took me a while to figure it out, but finally we did. So this error it appears because you need to add, you need to configure your app. Okay, so you, first thing we need to do, we need to go to the info list, which is in your uh, supporting files and then you can add we need to add two keys here all right 
or we need to add a key and uh, for the security. So first, let's add the the uh, NS security. So we need to add NS uh, security transport security. Okay. Uh, it's a dictionary. All right. And then we need to add another item to it. Okay. And if you do add row, you get this allow arbitrary load. So arbitrary loads it allow you to, so you can add, uh, the, uh, you can, ex you can uh, execute requests against any server. Okay. Not secure server. So if I hit OK, and then I need to make this as yes, and then you hit OK, and you still have a problem, right? And this is what took me for a while. I searched on the net and I found this, but it still got this problem. So how do we solve this problem? Well, thanks to uh, Stackflow, we found one. It took me a while to figure it out, but what you need to do, in addition to this, and I don't know why the documentation doesn't show that, you need to go to the project, you need to select your target, and then you say allow, and under uh, info, you need to add the same keys here, all right? So you need to add the security, uh, transport security, the app transport security, and then you allowed also arbitrary, arbitrary load. So I'm gonna add another one here. Oops, I deleted something I should have not probably delete. And then add another one. And then again, type in an S um, security, transport security. Okay. And hit enter it's a dictionary, and then we need to add another item to it and add another row. And then uh, here's one thing uh, you might find tricky. Let me do this command Z. Now, if I try to add it right now, you see this arrow? If I try to add it, it will not add it underneath this. So, what you need to do, you need to expand this first and then add the row. Now it will be underneath it. So now allow arbitrary loads. Yes. And then you said say yes here. And then command S, command B. Then run it. And it should work. We got some data here. That means I visited the website, no problem. And then here's my simulator. Here are my records. And then I tested it on my phone just to make sure it works. So if I look at, select my phone here, and I'm just gonna look in here, and then you'll notice that I got my data also here, all right? So that's how we do the conversion. It took a while, but uh, this is uh, probably very important uh, because a lot of your app relies on this, okay? So uh, just remember, you go to the info P list, you add the security transport policy, and you could do in here, you could add your own, if you, want, if you don't want it to make it arbitrary, you can put your own server only. And the next thing you need to do, you do the same thing in the project settings. You go to target, custom, iOS target properties, and then you need to add the same thing in the custom target properties. All right? I hope this will help and uh, maybe it will uh, reduce some of the stress of conversion, and I will see you in the next topics, okay?